Okay, hello and welcome to this Snap Circuit FC750 Extreme Project. Today we'll be building project number 629, which is the crazy music I see. The objective of this one is to change the sound of the music I see. Alright, so this is one of the more advanced ones here on SC750 Extreme, so let's get right into it. So we're gonna start with all level one parts, as is the custom. This one requires two batteries, as you can see, and they're going to be hanging way off the edge. This one being over A10. And I need to grab this one out of the corner real fast. Very good. And then the uh, other one is going to be down over at E10, just like this. <coughs> okay. And next, what we're going to have, we're going to have the S3 relay, which I'm going to have to get out from under the manual. That. Okay, and that's going to go over at E5, just right here. Okay, next the U1 music IC right here, which generates music, and it goes over at C6, just like this. Okay, next we'll be having C4 100 ultra farad capacitor, <clears throat> which is going to go over at B5. B5 blue, just like here. Okay, and then, and then what looks like an R4 resistor, which is 10k ohms. That's going to go over in this orientation. You have to make sure you've got the orientation correct. Otherwise, your circuit may not work correctly. It has to be just like this, just like they said in the drawing. So it's going to go over B2. <coughs> and next we're going to be having a huge long 7, which is right here. Which is going to be going over at what appears to be A2. Nope, A3. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we're going to be having the SP speaker, the red one right here. It's 8 ohms, 0.5 watts. And it's going to be facing in this direction, very important, over at B9, um, right over here. Okay. Next, we're going to be having what looks like the Q2 NPN transistor right here. It is at F2. It is F2 right here. Okay. Now we're going to have the Q1 PNP transistor, slightly different. It's going to go over at C3. Again, orientation is very important. It cannot be like this. It has to be like this in this case. So we'll go over right here. And then we'll have, let's see, is there anything else? Yes, we're going to have a, a 2, which is going to go over at G1 all the way near the bottom of the board. <coughs> And then we're going to have a 6, a huge long 6, and that's going to go starting it over at A1, over here. Okay, now we're going to have, um, let's see, is there anything else for level 1 parts? <coughs> there doesn't appear to be, this is uh, one of the more complicated circuits though, so. Alright, we're going to move right on to level f uh, 2 parts now, and that's going to include a 2 which is going to bridge the gap between this huge long 7 and the battery pack right up here. Okay, and then we're going to have another 2, which is going to bridge the gap between the, Q and the Q1 PNP transistor and the, T and the C4 100 ultra farad uh, capacitor. Next, <coughs> we're going to have the R2 1K ohm resistor, just like here. And orientation is very important. It's the same orientation as the R4, just over at C3, <coughs> putting the gap between these two transistors, just like that. Okay, now we're going to be having what appears to be a 3, which is going to go over at G3, way near the bottom, bridging the gap between this NPN and the S3. There we go. Alright, now we're going to be having another 2, which is going to go between the C4 capacitor and the S3 relay that, and then another two, if you can believe it, right next to the one we just put in, bridging the gap between the U1IC and the S3 relay. Okay, and now another two between the U1IC and the SP speaker, right here. Lots of twos, and then, okay, um, let's see, is there anything else? I'm sure there is. Oh uh, yes, there's another three, in fact, which is going to be located over at between the NPN Q2 and the R4 resistor, just like this. And now, we're going to be having, let's see, anything else 
for level two parts. All right, we have a one, our first one of the game, going right over here behind the SP speaker. And then anything else, another one actually, suddenly all the ones come out right here for stabilization. Uh, let's see, and another one that's gonna go right up here on A5 on top of the seven. And we also are going to have the adjustable resistor from last time, project, what I forgot now. But yes, it, it was the time delay with the seven seconds that featured this, which is adjustable resistor here. You can adjust how much current it resists. And again, orientation is highly critical in this. Um, you have to make sure the arrow is pointing up and not down, or left or right in this case. Well, on other projects, it may be left or right or up or down. So there we go. And now I'm pretty sure that concludes another... Oh, no, it didn't. Um, we have a D2 LED coming up here. And again, this is very important, especially for this diode. You have to make sure the orientation is correct. The plus needs to be over here, and it needs to be pointing down. That's going to go between this middle pin of the U1 UDVC and the 7. And we're also going to have a D3, not a diode. I am not actually sure what this thing is. It looks like a register. But uh, again, the plus side is very important. It needs to be right over here, as it says on the diagram. Right next to the D2 diode. Just like this. Okay. And I think that finally concludes. Nope, it doesn't. I keep forgetting things. That's going to go between the S3 relay and the B1 battery. Just like that. And I'm going to do a final check before we move on to level 3, because I think we finally cleared the gate. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure we have. Yep, we have. Okay. <clears throat> now, moving on to level 3, we have another 2 coming out that's going to bridge the gap between the 1 that we recently placed down and a 3 right over here. <clears throat> and then we're also going to be having, let's see, another 2, which is going to bridge the gap between... Um, oh dear, uh, wait a second. It actually, it will be bridging the gap between the C4 capacitor and the PMPQ1, except we did forget a 1 that needs to go right here, back in level 2, to stabilize. So it's going to be just like that. And then, we're going to be having another 2. We're really going down to the joints over 2s now. And that's going to be going right over here. Um... It does appear, however, that we put this one back to level two in the incorrect position. So it needs to be one over. So that our two can then go over right like this. Okay. So now we're going to be having another two, which we for Oh, yes, okay, we're all good. I thought we forgot another one back from level two, but here we go with the uh, other two. Going to go over there. And now we're going to be having a three, our last three, before we have to divert to reserve. That's going to be going across these two pins of the S3 relay, just like that. Alright, next we're going to be having another, okay, we already did that. Um, what else? Is that it, actually? Nope, we missed a one, which is going to be over on this pin of the R4 resistor to K ohms. And now... I think that finally concludes, um, nope, it didn't. Uh, we're going to have another one that's going to be placed right over here. And then, yes, I think that that finally concludes the level three parts. So we're now going to be moving on to level four parts, because there is a level four in here, quite a bit of parts of me. We're going to be having a C3 10 ultrafarad capacitor that's going to be going... Oh yes, orientation, very important again. The plus needs to be right up here. And in this case, it does need to be upside down, unlike some of the others. So it's going to bridge the gap between here and here. Okay, now we're going to be having... Let's see, we're going to be having the L1 lamp socket, a bit different than last time. This is just 3.0 volts, volts, or 0.2 amps. That's going to be right over here. Orientation, again, is very important. It needs to be just like this, cross, instead of this upside down. So it will be going just like this. All right, and then is there anything else in this level four, or did we complete everything already? We might have completed everything. Um, yes, it appears we did, so I'm going to do a quick check over. 
on everything to make sure we didn't miss any crucial parts. Oh uh, yes, we did appear, we do appear to have missed a two all the way back from level two. That's going to go between these two pins. And then I cannot believe I forgot the uh, very important S1 slide switch right here. And it's going to be going right here, but all the way back from level two again. All right, I think I have now finally finished the whole project. So let's go ahead and start operating Project 629. <coughs> so um, the instructions are, set the usable resistor to the far left position, which it already is in, and turn the slide switch on. As you can see, it's quite loud. Um, the relays S3 contacts open and close, shorting you onto the ground, causing the sound level to change. Um, all right, put on your earbuds, we're gonna do it again. And you can see the L1 lamp socket flashes with it. Now, I do wonder if you could apply a resistor to this so that it can make it, this whole thing quieter. <coughs> I think if you were going to put a resistor on, it would be right like here. Yeah, I, th I feel like it was a bit quieter that time, so I'm going to leave this resistor R3 on. And for your information, this will make it a little, a little bit quieter. So, uh, I recommend putting that on. But that pretty much concludes Project 629 of the Crazy Music IC of Snap Circuit's SC753. Oops, put this to again. That was Project 629, SC753. Goodbye.